All righty, welcome to another special episode of The War Room. This is crazy. This is becoming like a normal thing now. This is weird. We're not normally doing things during the normal week. We wait till Saturdays at 4 o'clock if you're unfamiliar with our show, but come on by on the channel here at 4 o'clock every Saturday. But we were offered and quickly accepted the opportunity tonight to play the Plum Island Horror uh, with, of course, the designer extraordinaire, the Charles S. S. Roberts Award-winning <laughs> War Gamer of the Year, Herman Lutman. What is going on, thank Herman? You. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Thank you for letting me do this. Absolutely. I, we're very, very excited to have this you This is the again. first time that Plum Island Horror has been played in public. <laughs> Wow, I'm excited. I, I know I um, I had a sneak peek behind the scenes uh, just so I could uh, share a few screenshots, which I appreciate a lot because I think this is going to be an awesome, awesome game. And, of course, thank you, Tony, for posting the link over at the GMT Games page. Yes. This is over getting printed. I believe it's at the printers, correct? Yes, as a matter of fact, Ken sent me some initial, uh, some pictures of some initial components, the bags, the cubes, and the stands. So little little stuff's getting done already. Awesome, awesome. So just cute. just so everybody knows, the uh, price, the MSRP on this is ninety five dollars. The pre order is sixty four dollars. So you can save yourself thirty one dollars if it looks interesting. That's so go nice. ahead and make thirty three percent discount, right? If, yep. I, if my math is cl close. <laughs> and even even for um, gamers over this side of the pond, you can still save you know ten fifteen pounds by ordering it. You know, even with the U.S. shipping, you still get it a bit cheaper than if you had to pay for it over here so uh, right. that's why p500s still work for me just <laughs> so <laughs> i'll wait yeah it's a great deal hmm. all right well uh let's go ahead and show people what they would want to see <laughs> if i can figure out what are you guys looking wrong. at the comments i can't yeah see the it's blue tweezer i'll oh, blue tweezer look oh all right. blue tweezer looking forward to seeing those island based horror plums <laughs> <laughs> that's in the expansion uh and then Jeffrey, <laughs> Looking forward to the game, Herman, says Jeffrey. Thank you, Jeff. All right. Uh, so we should probably. By the way, yeah. pre-orders have been going through the roof. We're at 1,410 or something now. It's just. Uh, you. We are at, yeah, 1,410. So yeah. I expect to see that increase probably after tonight. So uh, I'll be oh, careful. I hope, they don't it cancel. In the I hope people don't cancel. Or yeah, like. cancel. <laughs> <laughs> There it is in all of its glory. Oh, my gosh. Look at that, Herman. Wow, that is beautiful. I love the look of it. Yeah, how did it, Let's see. Let me look back over here again. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can see everything. Uh, so, obviously, we got a map board. We got a bunch of uh, factions. Right. So, the game comes with six factions. That's the, if you look in the left here, the orange the mustard yellow? I'm not sure. Mustard, yes. Yeah, yeah okay. I'll go with that. Yeah, yeah. Blue. Then on the right side, we got green, purple, and brown. All right. The, the stuff on the top here, the, on the top left, those are the mutations. Those are the especially bad horrors. Oh. Uh, the top right are the NPC characters, the uh, non-player characters. One of them's in the game already. The Shore Patrol of the Coast Guard is right here. Nice. All right. And the other two might come in at some point, depending. All right. So we decided uh, we were debating long and hard about whether we were going to have everything set up and just ready to play. But we figured you guys at home might like to see how setup works. So right. we decided not to do that ahead of time. Well, we, we did kind of. We Well, we, we chose the factions. So the cool thing about the tabletop simulator module is... It has this nice little uh, checklist. Step one, choose factions. We did that. Step two, add turn tokens. We did that. Step three, add civilians. Click the button below to add civilians. So somebody want to do that? Go ahead. I got it. I got it. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Bam. Look at that. And, and it randomizes all the civilians. 
Right. On the board. So the civilians, if you look, just I'll teach people like how to read these things really carefully. But if you look very closely at each of the spaces, you'll see a little white dot next to that, like say the building yeah. or the little tree. You'll see a tiny white dot or possibly two dots. That's how many civilians get set up in that space at the beginning. Okay. You can see there's no civilian here because there's right. no little dot. Right. So, right. uh, and it's randomized. Each of these uh, civilians have a name on one side, which some people will recognize. Eh, most people will recognize them. Uh, and on the other staff side. staff is one. Yeah. What's, what's the that? Bates Motel the Bates Motel staff is up, up north. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And then I saw the Adams family is making an appearance as well. So. Yes. So if you flip these over, you'll see how many evacuation points they're worth. Normally, families are worth the most, except the Carditsians. And um... <laughs> is it negative points if you save those? <laughs> oh, and the Vandergrom family are not worth three points. But uh, mostly the families are worth three, and it goes to two and to one. And the idea is to evacuate 26 points of those. All right. That's one of the things you have to do. So that that is our goal is to try and save as many civilians as possible. Right. So yeah. the residential areas each have two civilians in each area. Um, I think the mall might have two. Oh, wait, yeah. wait. We got the war room furniture on the board. We do. Yeah, it's under it's it's oh god. Now like it's it's over here. It's all oh, okay. the one of the beach ones. It's the second one underneath. Hey, oh, yeah, we do with there we are. Hey. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> well, that's interesting. We got the Brady family and the Partridge family in the same spot. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> uh, Maz says, good call on setting uh, setting show up. S showing setup. There we go. Uh, is this TT? No, this tabletop simulator oh. module is not out. We are getting a special pre released copy right. courtesy of Herman. So, this is not yeah. something you can download as of yet. Correct. Uh, if you want to, let's see, let's go over the factions really quickly. I forget who took what. Well, I took the National Guard, that's the mustard yellow cup, uh, colored faction. Uh, the disadvantage, they're the best militarily. All the war gamers are going to want to play these guys, except the only problem is only Private Mac Reacher, who is uh, the military police, is out right now. Each of these guys has to be flown in one per turn. So they don't start at full strength, they come in little bits and pieces. Uh, Jack Reacher fans will appreciate yeah, yeah. Mac Reacher. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I can't wait to get this so I can look at all the individual pieces. That <laughs> there's a, let me tell you, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. Right. I'm sure. Uh, the, blue, the blue faction, who's that? I am the blue faction. All right. That's the Plum Island Constabulary. That's a British term, by the way, Ruff. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, some of the sort of New england ishy type places over there you yes i intentionally picked that because they're very old and traditional police force and they were known yeah. as the constabulary at the beginning yeah. yeah so they're out there they have um good admin skills they have some good firepower so they're a pretty good faction to have in the game and uh uh he has mr stallone with him yeah oh that's right i forgot who the names are on these people let's see oh you got arnie stallone yep or stallion actually uh, you got Francis Drebin. The... Yep. <laughs> oh, crikey. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Officer Joseph Friday, and you got Chase the dog. All right. right. Over on the right side, the purple contingent is the Greenport Township. So everything on the, the bottom of the island is basically Greenport. That's the township that sits on this island. This is the munici municipal uh, contingent here. So the mayor's here. We got Dr. Doug House is the uh, EMT guy. I just got, I got that one now too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ed Gramden's here. Ralph Norton's here, and Fire Marshal Bill Laflum. <laughs> so that's you know sanitation, um, <clears throat> transport, medical, and fire. And then nice. finally, we've got the people who started this whole mess on this island: the Plum Island Research Laboratory that's Security me. Services. Oh, so we got Martha, Mrs. Wonderful Winfrey. She's in charge of these people. <laughs> we got Dr. Roy Winkman, Leo Bones Corey, Erwin McCoy, 
Ooh. And Kevin Blart. <laughs> Security <laughs> Blart. So, oh, I cannot wait to get this in, in real person. I'm going to go through right. each and everything just to check out how cool it is. All right. So the uh, factions we're not using, there's a neighborhood watch faction, which has basically um, veterans and ex-military people. They're running kind of a, you know, a neighborhood watch. These are people that are contributing to the neighborhood to keep it secure. So you got a tailgate caravan, you got Ellie Mae Bobby, um, you got the scouts. So there, it's a nice social contingent. And then lastly, the orange contingent are the Islanders Athletic Club. So this is uh, people training for the Olympics and all that. So we got a coach, we got a swimmer, we got a tennis team, we got some golfers, and we got the my favorite, the John Deere groundskeeping crew. <laughs> wow. I oh, do yeah. get some of these. Um, <laughs> I do get some of them. Some of them you might not get. But no, I know. Yeah. <clears throat> so awesome. Yeah. Cool. The, uh, cool. Each of these, each of these people have a spot that they're allowed to set up in. Normally, it's a choice. It's up to the player to put them in uh, designated spots. Obviously, the police officers start in the police station. Uh, they can start in the zoo. There's other places they can start. Um, mostly logical places and everybody puts out their stuff. You deploy the civilians and what else we got? There you go. All right. So next so thing we do is spawn the horror. So that was the horror start up here in the spawn zones. You'll see them up here and uh, GMT did a really nice job with this, uh, this module. If you spawn on a certain track, you'll see that there's six tracks and they all run down. And if you hit the button that says spawn track two, it'll automatically read the biohazard level and figure out how many horrors are supposed to be put in this track. So that's really cool. So Very at good. the beginning of the game, I guess I'll hit the button now, or you can hit it. You're there. It puts four horrors in each track. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> then, okay. then we hit shuffle decks, right? So it shuffles all the decks. Now we bri do bridge storm damage. So what happens here? This is a variable beginning. Since the storm hit, we don't know which of these bridges are operational and which are down. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bridge storm. <laughs> Where is that thing? Is it on the other side of this? Mm. It says just follow instructions in the rule book. Yeah. It's actually on one of these charts. Okay. Uh, I wonder if we can we flip over the book? No, it won't let us do that. All right, so I'll just go to the book. Say so we could probably. Oh, there, you just passed it. Oh, passed it. Sorry. I know it's on. I know it's in here. So there it is. Storm damage. There we go. Yeah. I know. I think it's on the back of this. How to start the game? But yeah, I'm sure. Probably. Yeah. Anyway, so what you do is you figure out, you draw a fate card. So we hit the draw a fate card button. Whoops, and I, I, I cloned dice, and of course it's in the way now. I guess I shouldn't have done that. I'll put those there. And you look at the random number on the bot, bottom, and it's a three. So we look on the storm damage table at three, and it says river flooding. Place a damage two marker on each of the following bridges. One, two, three, six, nine. So that oh, only one, two, three, six, and nine. That's all. <laughs> so we start off with two damage on one, two, three, six, nine. Flip these over. Oops. Sorry, where are you placing them, Herman? I can't see. Uh, I'm I'm going to put them on. Oh, there they are. Right, gotcha. Okay. One, two, three, six, nine. Yeah, but now he's so going to put what, them. On the, he's yeah. going to put them on the board. One. Right. So no, each of the bridges has a number next to it. So what yeah. it's telling you is the storm yeah. damage was mostly. You see this river here. Most of the damage occurred along this river. Uh, so this is actually fairly good news for us. Where's not great news? It's the three in a row up there. Yeah. Oh, I got you. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it was this one, right? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, so it's damage those three, and then along this. Right, and then main our quarter, so our lateral our rattle, lateral movements will be a little uh, compromised at this point. Uh, real quickly, the the horrors will follow these white circle black arrows. Okay, coming down. The green circle white arrows are possible lateral moves that they can make. We are allowed to use any of the arrows in any direction. Okay? Right. Okay. I got gotcha. you. So this All actually right. worked out well. This is actually going to slow down the mm. horrors coming down this way here on these two tracks. Yeah, they won't be able to get across the bridges. Well, not right away. They have to actually take some losses to get across. So what they do is according to our historical research, we looked deeply into the tactics that they used. And one of the things we found was that when they came across these bridges, <laughs> they piled they piled into the uh, gap and just kept flooding in like ants, right? And eventually they crossed using their own bodies as bridges. So <laughs> what are you laughing about? That is a fact, all right? Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm also uh, feeling pretty good. So yes. All right. So next thing, be, be, next step is be, be, be aware. Of that. <laughs> next thing is first contact. So we don't know yet about the horrors. So what we have to do now is we have to find out. Well, how do we find out that there's horrors on this island? Well, we're going to move them until we have an encounter. So we're going to draw a fate card. So you just hit that, and we use the activate instruction, and it says to activate tracks one and two. You see that? Yeah. Okay. So we go up to tracks one and two. Now these guys are each four har four horrors big. So they're murders, murders of horrors. And if if they are four to six tiles, they move two areas. So very simply, they're going to move two areas. And these guys are going to move one and two. And uh oh. Uh oh. Zeke. Zeke or Zeke. Zeke. Will encounter will be encountered. He will report back and say, "Oh my God, there's some kind of god awful." Ah! So we now know that <laughs> something bad is happening. That Zeke's wine and spirits. So the horrors automatically eat civilians. There's nothing that we can do. Charming. About it. Yep. So Zeke gets killed because we had a hand to hand combat. We put one yellow biohazard cube into the bag. Into the biohazard bag. Some people recognize that mechanic from Clank. I love it. Ah, uh, yes. And to add insult to injury, every time one of these horrors kills somebody, they grow by one. So we grab another, and they are now five strong. So the lesson there, you people who are watching and you want an inside tip, even when you have evacuated all civilians to meet your quota, you still want to protect them because... As they get eaten, the biohazard level goes up and the horrors get stronger and stronger. I almost said Zeds. <laughs> the horrors get stronger and stronger. So you can't just leave them out there for road bumps or anything like that because you're going to end up losing the game doing that. Right. All right. So we know, we know that there are horrors on the board. According to our little instructions, it says... Check the re, uh, click the reshuffle fate button to reshuffle the fate deck because these go back now, the ones we pulled. So we hit reshuffle fate. Oh, look at that. It does Ooh. it. That's cool. Wow, nice. You're going to have to hit the button. Oof. And it says have fun. So then we hit the have fun button and. Boop, doo -doo -doo. Yep, there's your repair the player aid. Oh no, we were looking for the bridge one. Sorry. No, no I guess here. I guess the bridge thing was just in the rule book. I guess they didn't put it in here. So the way the game works is each of us, and when we when we picked our factions to play, it actually shot our turn token over here automatically, which is really cool. Each of us has a token. You can see our little symbols on them. And in the bag are four other tokens. There's three fate tokens which will move the horrors. And there's one impending doom token, which means you have to pick an event card. So this is how the game determines who goes. This is kind of Aeon's end-ish. Mm-hmm. Random selection there. Yeah. All right. 
I'm going to reshuffle events, reshuffle that just to make sure. Okay. Reshuffle that. Reshuffle the bag just to make sure. So shuffle very conveniently, bag. you'll see a quick reference uh, sheet has popped up. This comes with the game. Here's the sequence of play. Here's the repair table if you need it, the overrun points, and it tells you how to read the combat dice. So the, the interesting thing about combat, and I worked on this for quite a while to come up with a solution, and again, as Jester will appreciate, the solution I used came from a, a dungeon crawl game. Whether you're attacking or the horrors are attacking you, you roll the dice. Okay. And I'll show you how that works in a second. But <clears throat> so you don't you're not rolling dice for the horrors and then rolling dice for yourself. You always roll dice, whether you're being attacked or are attacking. So we start off on October 25th, the morning. Uh, this little red box here tells you how many actions each of our factions gets. So right now we start with one because everybody's in shock because they're recovering from the storm. And now they've got a report from Zeke's Wine and Spirits that there's some kind of monsters roaming around. All right, so we're in a little bit of shock. We're not sure what to do. So very right. simply, if you, look, right. if you look at the sequence of play, the first thing is hunger phase, but we only do that at night. So we're going to have to feed our people at night. Okay. Second thing is activity phase. You're going to draw a turn order uh, token, and you're going to do whatever it tells you to do. So if you want to, somebody can have the honor of drawing the first token and putting it on the one there. Do I do it? I'll go, man. I got it. All right. That's a, <laughs> that's a fate token. What that means is you're welcome. Gonna draw a fate card. <laughs> I'm going to draw I a fate draw card. I'll, I'll draw it since I All right. It. And then you read the card and you'll read both instructions. Spawn. And you're going to spawn on track five. Ooh. So okay. you go up to track five. It's spawn and you track hit spawn five. track five, and boom, it okay. just sticks another three yep. guys on there. So there should be seven on there now. So it'll spawn three each time while the uh, biohazard level is one through eight. If you see, look on the tracks down here, you'll see biohazard track as it goes across and gets higher and higher. When you go cross over nine, all of a sudden you're spawning four at a time. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay. All right. And then you look underneath and it says activate track two. So track two okay. is going to move. We look so at track I two. Oh, track two is already moved. Let's see. All right. So That's track two is going to move into here. All right. So we have combat now. So it will stop. It can move too, I think you said. Didn't you, huh? Right. It'll stop as soon as it hits somebody. It hits somebody. Right. Okay. okay. Now you got. Uh, I gotta go sideways here for the same. Oh, that's uh, Mr. Blart. All oh right, security. <clears throat> that's great, actually. And we have a civilian now. When you uh, two civilians, so we got Gene the Dancing Machine Studios and Whalen Pool Maintenance. That's named after Claude Whalen. Or, um, and you can just you can use. Blart to protect the civilians. He's going to fight these guys. All right. So here's the way this works. The, the horrors do a set amount of hits depending on their size and where the combat occurs. So it's occurring in a building. All right. Mm -hmm. So that's the best protection we can have. So in a building, if you go down to this chart down here, and I asked them to add this because some people just, they don't like to do math and that's fine is you take the number of tiles that are attacking, right? In this case, it's four. And it's one quarter of that total in buildings. So if you look across that building, they're going to do one damage. Okay, not bad. Yeah, not bad. Yep. Then you look at Blart, and we look at Blart, and we see his yellow triangle is his melee value. That's three. The number next to him, I don't know if people at home can see that. Are you... Are you uh, painting if down you, and if if you push alt, whoever's controlling this, put go onto the card and press alt, it'll give you a blow up of it, right? Yeah, I'm zoomed in, don't worry about it. Yeah, okay, people okay. Can, people, so you'll people see the, the yellow triangle. You can't see anything, but you guys right. should be able to see or the security guy with uh pretty well. Let me know yeah, in the chat if you can. Yeah, that's okay, yeah. yeah. 
<clears throat> so the yellow triangle is his melee value. And next to him, you'll see a little uh, target icon and a two. That's his rifle or his ranged value. Okay. So what that means is in melee, he's going to roll three dice. So ah. who's, who's Blart? Me. All right. So oh, I'll throw great. out rough, I'll throw rough three dice over dice. here for you I'll so that people can different. see it. Now, mm -hmm. most, more importantly, before you do anything, we have a melee when that means biohazard cube in the bag. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Right. So general strategy tip number two for people watching, you don't want to melee the horrors. You want to shoot at them if possible. Shoot them and kill them from afar. Mm -hmm. All right. So here's what's going to happen. We're, we're going to roll the number of melee dice um, that the character has. The horrors have done one hit on us. If you roll a shield, that will cancel the hit. Right. All right. And then you're going to do damage to him depending on what the other die rolls are. I'll explain that in a second. So I don't know. If, do you know how to do that, uh, Ruff? You uh, highlight all the dice. Yeah. And then you uh, hit R. You just keep hitting right R. Right-click and then... There, there you, you go. go. There you go. There you go. Ah, oh, very good. So... Hit this a is shield. a miss. That's saved the hit that they inflicted on you. And this full heart is you killed one of them. Oh, nice. Not right. too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So one of these guys go back in the bag. That's important, by the way, because if, if you're playing the game and you're letting the horrors grow and grow and ignoring them, if you have to spawn more and there's no more tiles in the bag, you start getting overrun points charged against you, and you can lose the game that way too. All right. Good. If you keep the bag topped up. Right. Right. So Blart did his job. Look at that. Yeah. Nice, These guys Blart. all stay like this. All right. And that's it. Good job. Nice. Good job, bro. Okay, okay, so let me tell people, let's see, if you, if you roll, uh, I don't know if I could do that, let's see. Yes, there's one. So that's a half a hit. That's a half a heart. So you need two of those to get one. Some units have a special ability that allows them to hit with that roll. That's really a good ability. And then there's one more. I don't know. How do you, how do you get this to go to the side you want to go to? <laughs> you got to kind of drop it at an angle so it'll fall oh, off. Oh, oh. oh that's very that's very nice. <laughs> Have you found it yet? <laughs> no, I'm still looking. It's on there somewhere. Oh, I see. Next one. Next yeah. one. Next one. <laughs> one more. Go. Hey! All right. That's critical <laughs> hit. So that's a hit, and you get to re-roll this die. Ooh, nice. Love. So I love re-roll dice. Yep. Critical uh, exploding dice. They call them right. And uh, and. Dungeon crawls and stuff like that. Oh yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. crits, right. crits. Yeah. Oh, crits. Yes, that too. Yeah. All right, that's it. That's the fake card. So you can pick the next uh, token. Okay, somebody else. <laughs> uh, rough, rough. In this bag right here, the black bag, rough. Okay, let me zoom in a bit. Hold on, so I can see it. Here we go. No. <laughs> there, there you go. go. Oh. All right. That is. The impending doom turn token. <laughs> Sorry. We're Sorry. We're showing everything. That's what we're doing. We're here to show everything. So we're just going right. to make it all we back. Didn't, yeah. didn't want all the bad things at the beginning. All right, Ruff. <laughs> since you pulled it, you have to hit draw event card. Oh, crikey. Notice the color uh, matching there. Yeah. Oh, yes. Black token, black card. All right. You may read it out loud. <clears throat> it says, acquiring the scent. Uh-oh. Draw a fate. Oh, you know what these are already, don't you? Yeah. Draw a fate number. All horrors on that track number will move to an adjacent uh, sideways arrow yep. connected area, but only if that area has a non horrors unit in it. Correct. Horrors that do not move will conduct a close combat attack. If there are two eligible areas, the area on the higher numbered track is chosen. If there are no units in the eligible areas, then this event has no effect. Well, that's what we're hoping then. Right. So you can draw a fate card and look at the number on the bottom right. So a new fate card, yeah? Yep. And five. it's track number five. And lucky for us, there is no, there are no horrors 
there's a lot of horrors there, but they're not yeah. on an area that has a green arrow connection. Right. So, for example, if they were, uh, let's see, let's pick a spot. Actually, there's no, oh, well, let's just say, for example, if all these guys were here, they would all move sideways and attack, uh, was it the SWAT team? Yeah. Still, yeah. 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 So acquiring the scent, meaning they smell somebody next to them and they go after them. Right. Makes sense. So we got that. And that uh, track five hasn't spawned anything yet. Right. Okay. Draw another token. So we got away with that. We got away with it for now. All right. I'll draw it. Go on then. All right. That's the blue. That's the. That's me. That's me. That's plum me. Plum constabulary. Okay. That's the plum police. <laughs> plum, <laughs> the plum police. <laughs> All right. True. So if you look at the uh, faction color, right? All right. You do your action. So we're only allowed one action on this thing. So you can yeah. do one attack. The first thing you do, and this is often forgotten, and I've tried to highlight it in the rules, and I often forget it myself, but the first thing you do is a crisis adrenaline move. So what that means is every one of your guys in your faction can move one space if they want. If you so want. So that lets you set up the next action or get you started heading in the right direction. All right. So, so all I, the blue guys can move guys can one, move one, one space. spot. When, when I move, can I take a, a guy with me? No. A civilian. No. Okay. This is just you moving. All right. Um, I best to move, move up towards them. Is it to try and stop them or? Well, okay. So the other part I forgot to mention, well, I'll mention it now is, this area over here, which oh, I, yeah, we've got I, wish I knew how to do an arrow thing, but okay. Um, right here, this means the power is out to the island. All right, there's three damage tokens on the island wide light and power. Once we fix this, we will each get five supplies. Okay, to, to simulate us getting some energy, the lights turned on, everything's working. So somebody's got to get over got here got and start repairing. You mean this one? This one, right? How did you do that? I'm not telling you. It's, <laughs> it's tab. Oh, it's tab? Yeah. yeah, see, for tab, for me, is not the same. So, okay. Well, like I said, I changed my keys. So, let me try that. Tab. Hey, yeah. look at that. Hey. All right. There we go. All right. All right. So, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Ruff. That's all right. I was going to fiddle with the keys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I can move each one of my guys. One space. One space as long as there is an arrow that it connects them. So I could move right. this guy from here to here. You probably don't order. want to move Frank Drebin here at the Greenport docks because he's got to fix the docks. The other thing people might you might want to notice is that there's besides the bridges we rolled for, there is preset damage on the docks, Some this uh, Great South Bay Bridge, the hospital, the island um, power company. There's, so there's damage around that needs to be fixed to get these things working. Where right. we, where are we trying to evacuate the civilians? This guy? To? Oh, okay. So you want to explain that? So seems like an important part of the game. If that's how <laughs> yeah, we win, <laughs> yeah. it does. So you'll see on the bottom here. There's two docks over here. Is oh, let me use this fancy schmancy thing here. <laughs> there's the Greenport docks. Here is Cheyenne Sky. That's the ferry that will carry four civilians on every trip. Over here is the Coast Guard <laughs> station. The Coast Guard cutter Alyssa is here that can carry two people. There's also oh man, I like the this helicopter. Thing. There's a I helicopter here for, that can carry two people. There's a medical helicopter here that can take one. So we are trying to get people to areas, either to the docks or someplace that you see an H, like that. You see that H? That's where oh, a helicopter a can land. It's a baseball park. That's field. a baseball field right there. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's, so the way you do that is, let's say, for example, Jester moved his dog over here. 
then his action could be crowd control. Crowd control lets you move a number of civilians in the same space equal to your admin rating. And I might as well tell you what the admin rating is now. The admin rating on your units is the check mark, the green numbered check mark. The number under that is their bravery rating. And while I'm at it, I might as well finish it up. You'll see two little feet. That's how far you can go moving by foot. And if you have a tire with a black number tire, that's if you use a vehicle. And using a vehicle is simply you saying, I'm using vehicular movement and I pay one supply for gas. Okay. okay. So, so I am I am going to move that dog right over there. Okay. Because uh, I get a free move of all my units. I'm going to move this guy up here. Mm -hmm. I am going to try to come over and help repair. So I'm going to move my Lieutenant Hartman down. Right. Now, he's a leader, by the way. So you'll see a little flag. On, everybody's got a leader. And they each on your – I know most people won't use it on the first time because they – but this you'll notice it. that every leader's got a special ability that helps people around Any of its faction units. Oh, okay. Increase both host combat and ring. Okay, so he's going to help everyone else. So actually, um, he needs to get up. He needs to get where our other guys. So he's actually going to move up. Right. This guy's going to move over. And it's one, two, three, four. Where's my last? One, two, three. I should have five, right? It's it's one, column six all the way up. Uh, oh, I already moved him. Oh, he's in right. the so prison. One, two. Isn't there a guy in the prison? Three, no. four. There's a guy up here. Oh, is this is this my guy here? I guess he is. Yes, he is. You probably uh, want to there. keep there to fix. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll just leave him there. Okay. So for my right. action. So you get one action. The actions gonna, are on this little, see this little card over here. Control. Right. The little card over here tells you your actions, and it's two-sided. So it's move, combat, crowd control, evacuate. Use a special action because every everybody's got a special action. I won't go into all of them, but every single character has got one thing underneath them, that it's something super funky that they can do. Uh, repair. You can build a compound. You can do a location action. That's you interacting with the location, and I'll go into that when you guys want to do that. You can heal somebody if you have a red cross. Uh, and you can do reposition, but reposition you can only do when you follow. And we'll go into that in a second when Jester finishes his move. I'm going to let's go ahead and activate my great sense of smell special activity. This costs one action. You can make forage one supplies and decontaminate one level from its current area, even if the necessary icon is not present. Ooh. This will not exhaust the area. Yeah. So his dog is sniffing things out. So he's allowed to grab one supply, and he's allowed to decontaminate. Decontaminate is lowering the biohazard level, but we don't have a biohazard level yet. So Jester's doing this to grab one supply. So he's so we'll just give him. Which guy are you? You're the uh, blue, blue guy. You're blue, right? So we'll give him a supply. So he's got. Uh, three shouldn't we have had a, uh, a bio level hazard? Didn't it, it go up for some reason? It won't go up until we draw the the uh, cubes, <clears throat> which will happen at the end of the turn. Oh, okay. All right. Um, okay, so you're done. Now, I'm the way done. this works is the person to sitting to the left of Jester, which would be, let's see, if I look at the uh, at our setup on the bottom here, I guess that's me, right? Yep, you would be left. I'm looking at the way our names are arranged on the bottom of the table. Oh, I see. Yeah. All so, right, yeah. All right, so the follow action is I can do something. I can do one action. Except I will be risking if I do it. But just for giggles, I will do it. And I am going to opt to... What do we want to do? Let's see. Oh, you right. draw an event card. Okay, that's why. I get yeah. you. Well, yes. I'll, tell, I'll show you in a second. So my guy, uh, Mac Reacher, is sitting here with the Army Hog helicopter, which is the uh, the National Guard has a helicopter. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, I don't see any reason to deploy it yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to fix Old Republic Airport here in the Wiley Brothers Bar and Grill and maybe get them out of there. So I'm going to opt to repair. 
Very simply, I say I'm going to try to repair. There's a repair table on the quick reference chart, and we're just going to draw a fate number. I draw a four. We look at four, five, and it says you've got skills for a damaged area or bridge. Remove damage markers equal to the admin rating of my unit. So my right. admin rating is a five. Mr. Reacher is very good, and he removes and he repairs the airport. Nice. Ooh, Good job. However, <laughs> because I followed, I have to find out if I created a problem. And the way you do that is you draw a fate card and you look at the very bottom and it'll tell you if there's an event or not. If there is no event, then Ruff can decide if he wants to follow. If I create an event, we have to we have to draw an event card and nobody else can follow. It ends it right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> draw an event card all right uh, hey we're showing the game off we're showing right. everything off oh no <laughs> i hate this card swamped in heavy seas the ferry is taking on water draw a fate number and apply oh no you draw one it's sunk three bailing out flip it to its disabled side so the ferry is now disabled as it bumps into the pier and takes on water yeah, well, it's a heavy storm. It took some damage. It makes sense. Yeah, so now, it's a not very realistic first. game. I worked hard on the realism of this. <laughs> so now, not only have we got to repair the, the uh, ferry, we've got to repair the dock as well. So I got to repair the ferry and the dock. And the dock, <laughs> right. So nobody else can follow. We draw another token because that ends Jester's turn and it ends the follow mechanic. Um, and guys, uh, again, if you're just joining us, uh, and you have not uh, P500. This, this is still available on GMT's website, and you can P500 get it at a really good discount. And also, we want to thank the developer Ken Kuhn and the graphics design Terry Leeds. So, thank you guys yep. for making a really good, look, great looking game. Yeah, Terry really knocked it out of the park with this, didn't he? Yes, he did. He's done a lot of good stuff lately. I've he really is very, very talented. Yeah, he's very talented, yes. All right, next token. All right, uh, draw, yep, draw a token. That is it's, um, Herman. Oh, that's me. Yeah, oh. it's you. All right. So I will bring on. So the special thing on the National Guard is I'm allowed to bring on one unit. The problem is the special forces can land anywhere. Everybody else has got to land only at a helipad, a beach, or the docks area if there's not compromised. Compromised means if it's damaged, it's compromised. If there's a horror sitting in it, it's compromised. Mm. So right. I don't see any reason not to bring in my special forces, dude. And that counts as his crisis adrenaline move. Uh, where do we have trouble? Do we have trouble anywhere brewing? Uh, oh, yeah, we do. Here where all these horrors are moving down. Yeah, but I think uh, our friend over there can take care of that. I think. <laughs> He's going to leave it in the hands of the security <laughs> guard. Okay. <All> right. <laughs> the special forces were laying. Right, I, I can, I can just see that there. phone I'm call right, land right here. All right, we're going to drop right you there, over at the mall. Getting ready for this pile of mush coming at me. All right. There you go. Mac Reacher is not going to do a crisis adrenaline no he's not you're going to stay where he is my one action is going to be to do crowd control and i'm going to move this civilian over here very simple not complicated done all right rough do you want to follow and uh, just to remind me following would be following is you can do any action you want and reposition. Reposition is only allowed during a follow. Reposition means taking a helicopter or a boat and moving it to an eligible area. So a helicopter can be moved to an H area. A boat can be moved to a docks area. Uh, unfortunately, one of our boats is disabled. Yeah. Um, yeah. So for example, you could say, I'm doing a reposition. I'm going to take Alyssa and I'm going to bring her over here. And maybe you can evacuate car care auto body over here yeah it's named after jason Carr. yeah um, 
Or you could take the helicopter here yeah. and fly it to an H location like here or here. Um, wait, here. Or even the Re old Republic Airport. But there aren't any sort of um, uh, civilians around, are there at the moment? Well, we haven't gathered them yet. So usually what yeah, happens in this game, we, we generate a strategy where we start hurting them <laughs> to a certain spot. Yeah. Um, we haven't done that yet. <laughs> uh, Tweezer's horror plums need some sleep, so he's off. He's off, right? Yeah. Uh, you do not have to follow if you don't want. You can pass. And if I do follow, that's my turn gone. Or do I wait? Or do I get no? No, no. That's just the follow action. Yeah. Yeah. The, the the risk is that you'll you got to draw a card. Event. Yeah. You got to maybe maybe do an event. Are you uh, the Pearl Security Services? No, I'm the I'm the people that calls it. He's Brown. He's the he's yeah. the. Uh, so, for example, you could take Kevin Blart, spend a supply, and shoot at these horrors if you want. I can do that. Can I? Right. Yeah. It'll cost you supply. So what's the? So you said it's range. Is there like a range? Um, like how you, far? It's very simple. You can either shoot at somebody in your area or an adjacent area. Which, okay, cool. That's that's yeah. uh, yes, that's what I'm oh. curious about. So and you, yeah, don't, bro, you don't follow, cause infection uh, by doing I, that. I would recommend you follow and try to kill that zombie horde that's coming at you. Yeah, thanks. Put myself in front of it. <laughs> <you mean. laughs> well, yeah. shoot okay. it. Don't don't do close combat. Right. Just shoot it. So shooting uh, it would be your range value is two. So you'd roll two dice, and whatever you roll is going to happen to the. Uh, oh, to I the see. They yet. don't have to be in an adjacent square to. You can be in the same square. Yeah, you can be in the same one. Right. They're already there. They're, yeah, they're ready. Yeah, to but I'm thinking thing. normally close combat is when they're in the same square as you. Range is when they're one away or something. But uh, no, okay, we'll do a well, range. You can, uh, so you're lucky that you have ranged combat. So a lot of guys don't ah. have that, and the only way they could attack is by close combat. But by doing that, you're increasing the biohazard level. But not when you do a ranged attack because your ranged down, attack you're is only cool. you killing like far. They can't do anything to you. Good. So that's two dice. Two dice. Yeah. So let's go yep. down. And you want two uh, two hearts or critical hits would be good. Let's uh, go. have a go. Right. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Ooh. A shield. Oh. A shield would be a hit unless they're in cover. They are in cover, so that's not a hit, and that's half a hit. That doesn't do you any good. So you oh. missed. And I used up a, a supply for that. Yeah. Yep. Yep, done that. Okay. And now you got to draw a fate card and find out if we caused the problem. <laughs> you nope. did not. No. no. All right. Good. All right. Uh, Tony, do you want to follow? Yes. Yes, I do. And I want to evacuate. Because I have... Oh, sharp Stand up. rifle shot. He's drink You've been drinking, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the only problem with evacuating there is you're, this is compromised. See the damage? Oh, so I have to repair it first? You got to repair that first. Okay, well, then I'll repair it. Then I'll try to repair that's it. That's Sharp's Rifle Shop, by the way. You know who that's named? Oh, name Sharp. Kev Sharp. <laughs> Ken Sharp. Kev Sharp. That's, that's appropriate. Just to yeah. say. I'm just saying. That's appropriate. All right, okay. so you want to do repair. Yep, so I need to So you just draw, draw a fate, fate number. Yep. You draw a fate uh, number, and you look on the repair see. table. So okay. I just hit draw a fate card. Ah. Uh, Four. Yep, Four. Same as That's, before. You repair yeah, my, equal to your admin level. Your admin level is three. You repair three damage. You repair the hospital. Congratulations. Nice. Woohoo. Good job, Tony. Now I got to see if if we got in a close problem. And, and I you did. did. <laughs> Why does that not surprise me? Okay, my event card. Diseased <laughs> jailbreak. Spawn <laughs> the most wanted mutant standee in the Clement Clementine State Penitentiary area. If and you read the, the bottom part. If the Pointinger Law Office, oh, I lost it. Unit is on the map. A defense attorney gets these prisoners early release. The mutation standee will conduct a free activation immediately after spawning. All right. Anybody see Pointinger Law Office anywhere? Let's I see. did not. Um, Dan Pink, we have Pink Kelly's Deli. Oh, there they oh, are. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yep. <laughs> okay. At the beach. All right. The beach. 
All right. So we get the most wanted horrors. They show up at the Clementine right. Penitentiary. Are. So that All means right. the Bates Motel staff is is done. And they eat the Bates Motel staff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gee. No. And that's another yellow cube. Damn it. Are you doing right. that? And now they get an activation. Ooh, that's because they... the pointing are law offices. Just let them out. So they are going to move one space. That's their movement rate. And they move into this. That is another yellow cube into the bag. Now we have to decide who's going to take them on. It's going to, well, I don't think it's going to be the scientists. Ah, <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think, I think it's going to be Jay Friday. Uh, Jay Friday, the police officer. Now, does he have to do close combat since uh, the most He does because he's attacking you. Let's see what the most wanted his special ability is. It's called Vicious. When attacking in close combat, yes, mm -hmm. one shielded result earned by the defending unit is canceled. Mm. Uh oh. All right. So he is going to do. So the most wanted guy has a close combat value of three. So he's doing three hits to you. Okay. All right. You're going to roll three dice. Come on. We need something good here. Come on. Oh. Oh, one shield. Oh, one shield's canceled. The other shield works. So you only got two hits. You inflicted one hit and you get to roll again. I get to roll this one again? All right. Yeah, or just pick anyone. Yeah. Uh, come on. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Yes. yes. <laughs> So that's two hits. And, two roll, hits again. and roll again. And roll again. Like it to go again? All right. Yeah, it's a crit. Yeah. All right. Come on, baby. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Oh, yes. Oh, three, hits. Hits. <laughs> three hits. Three hits. All right. <laughs> Holy crap. So he can only take five hits. So let's see. He gets three hits. Wow. Good job. Yeah. All right. Uh, here's the hit cubes. One, two, three. Wow. Nice. Friday is tough. Yeah. And you blocked one of the hits. Right. So you only well, take, take two um, hits. I take two? Yep. So all you right. grab two black cubes. And so the heart on all the characters is how many hits they can take. So Friday. He's down here. Uh, yep. All right. Nice job. All right. Of course, you're now you're locked in combat with these horrible people. But do I do I attack as well or not? Uh, no, he attacks one of you. Right. I can't attack back. No. When you activate or during your follow, you could attack him. Right. Right. Um, All right. But you don't. If you see your guy, you notice you don't have any range number on it, which means your your doctor. Is going to be attacking in close combat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your doctor, which doctor is that? Corey. Uh, El Corey. <laughs> Doctor Corey. Bones Corey. So if you look at your, uh, if you look at your sheet, you'll see that Bones Corey is his special ability is. Let's see what this stuff does. Yeah. So you oh, pull yeah. you pull a random number, and you you don't know what's going to do. Oh, it could do anything. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I love that. So his ability actually is trying to decontaminate the area. So you don't really want to use his ability. Right. You don't need to decontaminate just yet. Yeah, okay. Anywho, we pick another yeah. token. Pick another token because that was Tony's, yeah. Yep. Greenport, okay. the purple guys. That's me. So I That's Tony do... again. Yep. No, no, no. Ruff did that. I did a follow. That's what I did. All right. So I do my adrenaline movement. Yep. You can move one area. Somebody's got to get the uh, electricity turned on. Okay. Well, I'll move the mayor there for closer. Um, I don't even know what to do with Ralph. <laughs> He's kind well, of with Nancy. Usually Nagy's what you photos. do then is you look at their special ability and you figure out like what what is it they can do the best. So he is very good. He's sanitation. I think he's very good at repair, isn't he? 
Uh, yeah, the right uh, tool. So he's very good at repair. Okay, so sending him to a repair spot is probably a good idea. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Okay, so let's move him also this way toward. Oh, I can't do it that way, can I? Well, that's Cramden. So oh, I think it's, oh. it's Norton's the one that's a good repair guy. Oh, Cramden has a, has a bus, and he can pick okay. up bunches of people and and move, move around. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna move him up because he can't move sideways here. Right. Uh, and then this guy, he's going to move up here because he's going to try to get these guys. There's two of these guys and move them. Right. Coons Coffee and the Carditsian. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Family. Um, and then Fire Marshal Bill. <laughs> um, uh, what's this area here? We can escape by the Great Bridge. Yeah, so this is a bridge to the mainland. You can you can bring civilians out this way once you repair it. Okay. So also since he's the here, horror can get out this way as well, and it's a lot of overrun points if they do get out this way. Oh, how how likely is that? Just out of curiosity, it's uh, not very likely because you'll see. So let me explain. If you if you zoom in on wait, let me use my fancy schmancy. There it is. <laughs> if you zoom in on this area, you'll see that there's two exits. Okay. All right. So what you do is you pick a fate number, and if you do a one or a six, they take the odd route, the okay. detour, and two through five, they take the main drag. Okay. So it's it's low, but not impossible. Okay. Well, I'm going to move him over here because okay. I think I'm going to try to try to repair that. We'll see what happens. Good. Okay. So now I get one action. You do. But now I will go ahead and. Um, Going to do evacuate. Evacuate, yes. Okay, evacuate is very simple. If you, I'll explain this on this card here. So okay. evacuate is you choose a helipad area, which Tony's doing. Yeah. That has both a helicopter unit and a civilians unit, or a docks area that has a boat and civilians. Uh, can't be compromised, which you got rid of, and the helicopter or boat can't be disabled, which it's not. And you just move a number of civilian units up to the helicopter or boat's listed capacity. You put them on your faction mat, and you get the evacuation points. So oh, you just so very that pay. is easy. Right. He can carry that one. That's that black number. So he carries uh, Sharp's rifle shop. Very good. The first evacuation. You flip it over. One, one point. point. <laughs> 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 Kev, so Kev, go, Kev leaves hes hesitatingly. All right. <laughs> he's Kev, like, he's like, I got points. rifles. I want to get involved in this. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. All after one point, huh? Well. <laughs> yes. All right. That's your one action. Uh, following yeah. is Jester. Do you want to follow? Uh, yeah, I think I do. Actually, I'm going to try and um, I want to get the terminology down right here. I want to. Crowd control with my little doggy. All righty. So, so I got two civilians in there. Rating worth of of civilians, so you can take both these guys and move them one space. Yep, I'm going to try and find them down. Yep. So by the way, just another t strategy tip number three is if you want to herd people along, what you do is you move them like that, and then when you do your crisis adrenaline move, you follow them right, and then you do herd them again. That's the way that works. Right. All right, now I got to draw a card to make sure I didn't mess anything up. Correct, and you did not. All right, All right. so I go and I will. Let's see. We'll. Oh, I'll take a chance. I'm going to move the Vandergrom family over here because there's a helicopter spot there. Ah. Uh, uh, these, these guys can't move because we have to repair those bridges. Aha! So the Lewis family is trapped at Schnitzel Brewery. <laughs> mm. ah. Oh, the poor Lewis family. Yeah. Oh. Let's see if I caused a problem. I did not. And Ruff, you get to follow. Uh, so, well, the old security guard needs to stay there, doesn't he? Use that security guard and shoot again. You can shoot Good again. Time. You have one ammo left. One ammo it. left, though. How do we get more supply? Uh, somebody's got to turn the power on, or you can search. That's the other thing you could do in that space. Right. So let's let's talk about that real quickly. You'll see orange icons on your spaces, right? Binoculars means you can draw a search card. 
All right. I don't think you can search though, where if it's compromised, it's I have to look that rule Whoa. up. I forgot. Um, some have a biohazard symbol, which means you can decontaminate, which brings the biohazard level down. And some have a supply icon, which means you can collect one supplies. If you do any of those things, you, you grab that, you do that thing, and then you the area is exhausted, which means you can't search there anymore. Oh, whatever. Until the night, until the end of the night when it oh. gets reset. Yeah. So if you wanted supplies, and I will suggest you don't do that now because I forget if you can search in a in a compromised area. I will look that up while you guys are doing your thing. I would just shoot somebody them. somewhere just else. Shoot just yeah. shoot. Them. So uh, yeah, I think on the binoculars. Uh, are Actually, what? you could do it here. Well, you guys want to see how? Maybe this guy. Yeah. He search there. And binoculars give you what? You get a search card. You can search. To try and get some supplies, get some items, get some. So search cards have all sorts of things in them. Many ah, of them right. have supplies. Some of them bring you new VIP civilians. They, you know, it's it's all sorts of stuff. Right. So you reckon rather than shoot another. Well, you're low on supply. So if you want to get supply, you yeah. probably would want to search here. So we're going to search with, uh, does it matter which one? They're both mine. Um, you can pick one. I they look about the same. I would say Venkman because he has a full time <laughs> <of> three. <laughs> Venkman. Love I'm it. just getting these. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So how do we do that? You draw a search card. So you go down on the bottom left All over right. here to the green search thing and you hit draw a search card. And you read. Here we it. go, chaps. Let's see what we get. All right, go ahead. A paranormal encounter, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> your unit. See, he knows what's coming. That's why he's laughing. <laughs> your unit reports a miraculous encounter with Samantha, the ghost mermaid. She puts them all through a strange test of courage involving some seagull feathers, a lemon, and some weird pulley mechanism. <laughs> That's her, your, your, your mind. Like I said, strange. <laughs> They pass with flying colours and are granted a temporary paranormal guidance portal. Or at least that's how they explain this bizarre hallucination. In any case, it worked. You may immediately evacuate a number of civilians, units equal to your unit's bravery rating from any areas for free. Ooh, Ooh. nice. Ah, so it does matter which guy you picked. <laughs> yeah. Then it says in the bottom, exhaust this... It area after you're done yeah so my chap there we picked wankman so what Brave, is his bravery bravery is four that's the star is it it's the star so wow he's a four four so you can, four that's great you that was perfect so you hmm. can you can evacuate any four civilians you want can i evacuate the ones stuck in the brewery you can sure. anybody right so there's just four you can have four high ones <laughs> <laughs> That's an excellent call. Anybody with family is usually the most. Uh, yeah, expensive. get the Partridge family <laughs> and the Brady, Brady family. family. Yeah, let's get them all over there. That's three. Yeah, and who else? And anybody else that's in in jeopardy of getting killed? Uh, what we got here? Oh wait, get the war room. Get the war room. <laughs> oh yeah, we've got to save them. Where are they? War room. All right, I'll get the war room. Right here. And they better be worth 20 points, Herman, or this live stream is <laughs> yeah. ending. I'm you telling you. have given us the best points. All right. So you pick all of up and put them on your thing. Uh, over, man. Woo. Put them on your thing and flip them over and add flip up those over. points. Let's see what we get. What Woo. We three, 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 and one. <laughs> one. He gave us one <laughs> point. He gave us one. Is that, is that us? live stream is over, people. That's us. Wow. We're up to 11 evacuees. Congratulations. You didn't get any supplies, but you no. uh, <laughs> you saved a lot of people. Yeah, hey, that's cool. just as good. Um, so that was a that was a follow, bad by news. Way. follow. Yeah, but yeah, we've been going an hour so you, and might, minutes, you might screw sorry. it all up right now. Draw a fake card. Oh, fake card. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, Oh, oh. Yay. 
Very All good. Right, before we continue. Yep. We've been going an hour and 10 minutes already. Are you kidding me? Mm. I am not kidding you. All right. So we can continue as long as people are want, or we can call it an episode and come back later. I just don't want to get in the middle of something. And, and well, I can tell you it'll go fairly quickly now because we all went, didn't we? No, it's me to go. Oh, yeah. you to go. Okay. We could actually get through this turn pretty quickly now if you want. Okay. Because it's what? One more, one more to go? One to do. That's Three more two. tokens. Two of them are going to be uh, the Crap. horrors going. One of them is going to be rough. Okay. Let's finish this turn. All right. That's a fake card. Yep. All right. So we spawn track three. So we go up to track three and hit spawn. There you go. And we activate four and five. Four so and you five. activate four first. Uh, how many people we got there? One, oh, two, on. three. Okay. So there's three there and a three tile moves three areas. Oh, uh, there's yeah. actually four there, Herman. Is there? Yeah, one, two, three. Oh, I'm four. sorry, then it goes two areas. Oh, that's right. It started with four, right? So it's two areas. Yeah, yeah. And okay. This one, so move. they can they come up against this bridge. That'll slow them down. And then, good thing we saved these people in the brewery, or they yeah. would have been done. Yeah. Right. Exactly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And seven. That's actually going to move one area. Oh, nice. Good. Yeah. All right. And that's okay, it. so what so schnitzels they can move one more, but because they can move, you said they can or is four only two? Four is four only, is only two, two, right? Okay, yeah. so they're stuck. They're stuck. Yeah. Okay. So I'll tell so just real quickly, I'll so if they had moved another spot, you see yeah. this is damage two, right? So yeah. they what the way it works is they would lose two tiles, take this away, and then they would cross over and oh, end up in right. here. Okay. That's what I thought was gonna happen. So right. okay, cool. All right, next one is rough. You go. You get one action. You can move everybody first. Don't forget yep. that. You move everybody, everybody, everybody first. first. Right. You can okay. even take Blart out of there if you're afraid he's going to get killed, but I don't think he's in danger, really. No, I think he's holding back that little block, isn't he? So, um, right. What's exhausted? What we yeah, got? so exhausted yeah. just means you can't do any more uh, interaction with the location here. That's yeah, until the night time. Um, there's no, uh, there's no uh, peeps around, are there? So you're quite near the power station. Yes. Yeah. Um, what you? Okay. There's not a lot round here and abouts, is there? Really? No, there's not. We're, you're kind of jammed up in here. Yeah. All right. So maybe pull back these. Oh, you do have this dude over here facing oh, yeah. the yeah, yeah. bones. Um, I could. I mean, you well, can get him out of there if you're afraid that Friday is going to get overrun, or Friday leaves you there. <laughs> yeah, Friday's leaving, so <laughs> that's right. He might leave you behind. So we'll move him back here then. All right. Well, we don't. Yeah, I mean, we we don't need this area. It's not about the areas. It's about the people. Yeah. Right. So, uh, who else we got? We've got this. Uh, she's the CEO. Yeah, getting her with your other people would be good. Yeah, she gets a. She gives a, everyone a bonus. a bonus. Yeah, her her little thing is she's got a sports car. So if you put her in a vehicle, she can go five spaces. And where are the vehicles? You just you say just you're say using it, and you pay one in gas. That's it. Yes, that's oh. one supply. Yeah, so. but I've only got one supply. Mm. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, well, somebody's got to get towards this. Uh, we need I'm moving all of us there. need supply. Yeah, well, you're right here, so yeah. Yep. So if uh, I move up there anyway, yeah, you could you could head, head her for these civilians. That's what I was thinking, and try yeah. and herd them, or herd them, or crowd okay. control them. Yep, now deal with all these right. guys up here. Yeah, so I think. Um, What's his face? Uh, Blart will stay there. <laughs> What's his face after everything he's done for you? You're gonna. Call I know him Blart. I mean, I, yes, <laughs> Kevin Blart. Um, and these two, maybe I think we'll pull these back, and we might okay. be able to do another search, maybe to try and find some supplies. Oh, that's an excellent, excellent decision. 
So for your action, you could just say you're doing another search. Uh, or the other thing is you could try to repair that bridge. Yes. Which and get it, so so we can get the over these yeah. other civilians. You got the Walker yeah. family and Rough Life Dog Grooming. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I like to think that's named after me, but I don't think it is. Um, <laughs> now, um, do we need do we need a um, supply to do a repair? The or? other thing you no. do is you can activate board to move these two civilians out of that area. That's also correct. Oh, right. So what do you reckon, chaps, this being a cooperative game? It's your decision, man. Well, we don't want you. these two eaten. So right. if for Let's... some reason you get defeated or believe or something... They're going to go. So I think that's I think, a good suggestion. I think we'll get these out. So what do we do? That's crowd control, isn't it? It's crowd yeah, control. Yep. You just move them one spot. One spot. Boom. Very good. Lovely. All right. So you're done. Okay. All right. And then we just say, now Tony can follow if he wants. Um, yes. Yes. Uh, I think I do. You can't move when you follow, can you? Yes, you can. Oh, you can. All right. You can Maybe do anything. Move, in, move into the old uh, damage. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and follow and send uh, Mayberry. Okay. Very good, Meryl. All right. Draw a fake and then card. I got a fake card. Do I have to draw a fake card? No. And I and I draw an event card. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Ravenous nightmares. So draw a fate number. All the horrors on that track will move to. Oh, it's the same adjacent. as before. Yeah. Okay. So it's adjacent. Okay. So let's see. Everybody. Oh, right. Anybody on? Oh, track five again. I think we got. Uh, five. Okay. They so. They can move to the side. Only if there's somebody there. Oh, okay. So we're good to go there. Yeah, we're good to go. No problem. This but is only stop. different in that it would use the lower number. The other one was the higher number. So Correct. Very Correct. similar card, yes. But it does stop the following. So you. Yeah, you thanks, Tony. Point. That's twice you've ruined it for me. <laughs> yep, no problem. Hey, I'm <laughs> there. The last I'm one is the fake card. So why can't they move into the Pine Barrens then? There's nothing there. Oh, so Oh, there, only there's, if there's a civilians there. Right. So there's two sets of cards that allow them horizontal movement. One of them is only if there's somebody next to them. And the other one is they just do it. Hmm. All right. And the last, yep, yep. last chit is the um, the fate token. So I'll just draw the card. Oh, it's pretty straightforward. Spawn two on two and activate one. So we spawn on two. I did that. I did that. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Yep, we did. Okay, and activate one. So, oh, this ought to be interesting. How many guys do we got? One. Four, should be four. Three, four, oh, five. five. Isn't there a way to group these and have the number of tiles in there show up? It is on most of uh, them. Show stack contents. There we go. That'll do it. Yeah, then how do you undo it? it? Click it, it again. It again. <laughs> no, no, we we re restack. There. Oh, there we go. Good. So they go one, and now they got to go two. The problem is we have a split. So ah, somebody just pick a fate number, and that's the direction they'll go in. It's either one or six, or two to five. Six. Oh, they take the odd way. So they go on to Cherry Pit Grove. So oh, I'm so glad we Yes, rough. Good job evacuating. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That was a good choice. They would all have been dead. <laughs> Otherwise, we've got to so, get rid of these, though. Look. Yep. Yeah. we got to get rid of them next time. Yep. Pops all right. That's up. the end of the turn. So this would go up to number two. All these go back. Shuffle them up. And we move on. So, I, I mean, I think that's a good place to stop. I'm sorry it yeah. took so long, but no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. That's good. quite all right. It always slows down when you do things online, and and uh, you know, but, but everyone's remember. kind of brand new, and we wanted to make yeah. sure we were doing it, things right. Yeah, and, but I think you saw most. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, oh, I know what we forgot to do. Very important. That's yeah. Oh, rush yeah. through it. I mean, so end yeah. phase, you replenish the locations, but only at night. Mutation regeneration step. All the mutants. These guys up here lose a hit cube they regenerate 
Oh, because they're mutants. Uh, okay, that's not nice. Yeah, that's, that's why nice. it's good to get them while they're while they're weak. Right. Then we do the biohazard infection step. So we mix up this bag, and you draw two cubes. If you draw a green cube, nothing happens. If you draw a yellow cube, it goes up oh. by one. So what will happen is these go back. As we get more and more of these in there, if you run out of yellows, you start putting reds in. Reds move it up two spaces. Oh, lovely. Oh, yeah. I like that idea. That's that's yeah. pretty cool. And then finally, it's the refill turn order bag, which I did, and advance the game round marker, which I did. So that's a full turn. I'm sorry. I rushed that a little bit. No, yeah, that's cool. I know we were under a little time crunch here. That's okay. Yep. All right. Awesome. Uh, well, we're gonna we're gonna have a little, um, you know, questions and answer time, but we kind of went over a little bit. So, uh, if you have any questions, I'll tell you what, just leave them in the comment section down below. And um, what we'll do is next time we get together, we'll answer those questions at the beginning of the next episode. Sounds good. Uh, so, if anyone has any questions about uh, what we had done, if we if they weren't sure about something, you can download the rules at the GMT website, read the rules, uh, you know, because they might clear up a lot of questions you might have as well. Right. I mean, we didn't really use people's special abilities yet. Uh, actually, we got pretty lucky. The horrors didn't do very much bad stuff. There are other special activations and special spawns that accelerate things. So we didn't pull any of those cards, thankfully. So that's good. Um, but things can go to hell real fast. But yeah. that, that one search card you got, man, that worked that was out good. great. That was, that was you. That was you. Yeah. If you had picked the other scientist, we only would have gotten one civilian off. <laughs> that was huge. And, uh, cool. uh, you know, it was just blind luck, the people that we chose. Yeah. And of the four people we chose, three of them would have been, already be dead if we yeah. wouldn't have done that. So. That's true. Yeah. So, yeah. So you can, you can write the story as you go, right? Yeah, that's cool. I like that. I love that. Awesome. I love that. Thank you for doing Thanks this, guys. So much, thank, you. thank you. We yeah, appreciate thank you. it. No, thank we you will, for that. Um, yeah. We will try to be back uh, in the next week or so to get part two in. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can finish uh, day number or round number two, I guess it would be. Right. And, this is more, uh, yeah, this is more of an introduction on how things work. So yeah. I'm, I'm assuming the next turn would go a little faster. A little bit. Oh, well, yeah, 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 much faster, I would think. But we're going to have more actions, too. So that will slow us down as well. So Yep. Um, but once yeah, you get B five hundred, it Tony's uh, put the link, of course, yep. in the chat. Thank you so much. Uh, Pull my own horror coming out soon. It's at the printers, so yeah. it'll be here before you know it. Uh, so get your P five hundred order in because once they, when it once it arrives back, they that's it. They charge us and and they yeah, ship save it out. yourself a third off the price. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's a great discount on the P five hundred, man. It really is. It looks great. It looks fun. I'm having a blast playing it. And there's just so many, so many things to explore with this game. We have just, just the tip of the iceberg on this. Yeah, we really haven't dug into all the special abilities and really utilizing them. And it does go fast because after a while, you get to know what your faction can do, and you get to know what actions you want to do. So you just do yeah. them. You know. Yeah. Um, right. So anyway, I'm, yes. look, I'm looking forward to trying it out. See if the family want to have a go with it because it's you know it's not one of me hex and counter things. <laughs> well uh thank you herman for having the war room do this we do appreciate yeah, thank it you guys thank you for uh, having me i appreciate it we will have our regular show at a regular time this saturday 4 p.m eastern standard time rough what is that over there uh that's nine o'clock in the evening Nine o'clock over there in england <laughs> yeah. okay uh and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys then herman again thank you so much look thank forward you. to part two Tony Ruff, have a great week, and we'll yep. see you. Thank everybody. you guys for doing this. Yep. Yeah, 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 no, thank you, Herman. It's great. Take care, everybody. Have a good Thanks week. Thanks, everybody, in the chat for, for putting up with us. Brilliant. <laughs>